All right, let's make sure that this is up and running before we do an intro. Awesome, awesome. What's going on guys, it's the Crypto Analyst here. I hope all of you guys are having a good morning, evening, wherever you guys are from. And welcome to the crypto live stream. Today we're going to be covering consen consensus uh, May 14th through 16th. Why this middle of May part is going to be so important, and you know, really just all the hype around this, as well as you know, kind of leading into when we could see the next um, full bull run, and not just these really fake outs or these short little runs that we keep shooting up and then falling back down. Um, so we're going to be talking about all of this in the live stream today. Um, I just want to go ahead and say welcome to everybody. Um, I think you guys are really going to enjoy this one, and you know the support's been also are awesome. Excuse me. Um, also, guys, I have created an Instagram account. It's simply called the Crypto Analyst. Um, and yeah, if you guys are in the Discord, I just linked it in there. But if anybody needs it as well, I might just put it in the uh, description below as well. So let's go ahead and get on into this. I want to make sure everything is running properly. I changed a few things around, and also I'm going to try to add music today. Um, to the live stream so it won't just be my flat voice. It'll be you know, a little bit better And so I'm gonna tab over here. I have some non copyright music and so we're gonna play that you guys have to tell me if the music is too loud or too quiet So let me know guys if the music is too loud or too quiet uh, If it sounds bad or good just really kind of work with me here I haven't done this before but I feel like with the with the music in the background It could be better and so hopefully it's not overshadowing overshadowing my voice So let's go ahead and talk about this guys now, what is consensus? Now, consensus is, I might actually make a video on this as well, but consensus is the largest cryptocurrency convention, um, and now it happens once a year. Now, this year, it happens to be in New York, as it says, you know, uh, Hilton Town, or Hilton Middletown, excuse me, uh, in New York. So, consensus has been growing exponentially, and I'll show you guys a chart for this over the past couple of years. Uh, with their number numbers excuse me more than doubling i think every single year for the past four years so now it's become this huge event hit it is the music good music sounding good perfect bull run starts may 14th i sure hope so we could even see a little bit before may 14th because what we do is we see a little hype around this so i think you could see a spike before may 14th is the music too loud guys all right, I'm gonna take that as it's good. So consensus, and I'll, I'll go ahead and pull up a chart here because I think they have one down here based on the past four years. So in 2015, they had the first consensus. It was you know this closed you know little thing cryptocurrency. It was still really small then. 400 people came. 2016, they you know more than a 4x gain up to 1,400 people came. Or excuse me, a 3x gain. Um, or 1,400 people came. Next year. They almost doubled that number into 2,700 people. Here we are almost doubling that number again. 2018, expected for 4,000 plus people to come. Now you guys might be asking, who are the people that are going to be coming to this? XRP prediction, we'll get into that, man. Yeah, for sure, and, and I'll definitely give mine because I'm actually currently holding some XRP. And so, and, and there's a reason behind that, so I'll get into that in a little bit. Um. So let's go ahead and see, you know, look, let's look at the countries, you know, why is this event so significant? Who's going to be there? What people? What countries? Is there like a crypto con coming up uh, in May, I believe, in Vegas? There might be as well. If there is, I'm not completely sure, but we can always uh, Google that as well. But we're talking about Consensus, which is in Middletown, New York, I believe Middletown. Um, so 70 plus countries, uh, that alone is significant. As you guys can see, the percentages from each country, we have 70% from North America, 3% from Asia, 1% from Australia, which kind of shocks me how little, you know, the Asian Australia population is getting represented, but you know, I guess it is in New York City, so it'd be hard for them to get over here. Um, South America, 3%, Europe, 15%, and Africa, 1%. So we have all these major countries, you know, US, Canada, United Kingdom, Australia, Germany, China, Japan, Switzerland, Brazil, Israel, Netherlands, South Korea, Hong Kong, Hong Kong, which is China. Um, that's weird. Italy, France, Mexico, Russia, India, Argentina, Ireland, and more. So, you know, over 70 countries are going to be represented here. So that alone is saying this is this global thing. This it's not just this thing that's only within the US, only entitled to US citizens. This is a global thing that happens every single year. And we usually see, and I'll bring up a chart after this to show you guys what the charts look like after consensus hits. Why? Because these investors come, these 
it, not only do investors come, but you know, all these coins are here. So as you guys can see, we have everything here. You know, look, we have Sol, we have Santander. I'm gonna let this thing just kind of play through. Security token, Shift. You know, Santander's huge, you know, huge, uh, you know, Santander Bank, if you guys know anything about them. Um, and, and kind of just the list keeps going on here. Spark Chain, Shopping, Septo. Um, I don't know too much about Swarm. But, you know, Sweet Bridge. And basically, I'll just let this thing run so you guys can read, you know, a lot of these organizations that are coming here. So, you have cryptocurrencies that are going to be sending representatives to this uh, convention called Consensus. And they're all going to have their booths set up. And that's awesome, but that's just like every other crypto event. What happens is you have all these big name investors. You have all these big name, you know, you know, people from the Silicon Valley uh, company, like not like CEOs, but you know, people who are who are in charge of the finance for a company that come in here, and they all kind of come in here and they scout everything out. That, I think that's a better way to put it: is that they all the companies and investors and all that they all come in for scouting. Now this is the time of the year that when they do it, um, and, and so when this is really weird companies and cryptocurrencies announce stuff and want to show stuff off so that they can impress these huge investors so that they can grab whales to invest into their coins um and so i want to go ahead and talk about this i'll read this first but you know 250 plus speakers 4,000 plus attendees um you know everything you know the leading industry startups investors financial institutions enterprise tech leaders academic and policy groups uh, who are building the foundations of the blockchain and digital uh, currency economy. I just want to make sure that music's still going. <laughs> um, I can't actually hear it through here, so I'm going to probably move this. Bitcoin prediction. Yeah, we'll get into all the predictions. Yeah, I broke my heads up, by the way. Sorry, guys. Um, we'll get into the prediction. I just kind of want to go over the fundamentals before we go too deep into this so that people can always rewind and watch this. Um, 2017 attendance, 2,700 attendees, 30 are, yeah, so this is a base, these are the, um, 2017 statistics, you know, out of the 2,700 people, 35% plus of them were executives, that's insane, 125 speakers from last year, uh, 80 plus sponsors, 80 plus media partners, over 70 countries, it's ridiculous, and I'll kind of go ahead and leave, you know, the press up here before we get into the scale of this, and we're going to pull up trading view actually at the moment, so I can show you guys what happens after consensus every single year, at least historically speaking, and why a lot of people think that we're gonna start seeing this bullish movement come around this time of consensus, probably slightly before that in my opinion. So I'm gonna pull up BTC um, USD, I wanna pull this up on Coinbase, and I want to go to the, excuse me, we're gonna go to the six month. Oh, I can only go so far back. All right, perfect. So, let's. Uh, I'm not entirely sure what. Um, I'm assuming it's around mid-May, the same time. So let's go ahead and take a look at what happened last year, right? We now we were at we were at lows, as you guys can see. The market was definitely down here. As we were just, just struggling to get up, we fell back down and fell back down. And so, uh, you know, April kind of seemed boring, right? We we kind of seemed like we couldn't move much. Um, you know, it went up a little bit. We, again, we couldn't break the previous high flatline for a little while and then what started happening towards the mid of april well we start seeing this bullish movement and, and this is all starting to lead up to this hype of consensus and what's going to happen why because historically speaking consensus brings a lot of money into the market from all these investors and companies are killing it for the last couple days yeah dude that's awesome yeah ot ont dude has been and bird i had, i haven't looked into uh, btm too much but um otn and bird have been killing it um, ontology. I'm, I might try to get a spot on ontology soon. Um, but so here we are. Here we are, right? We have uh, consensus happening around this time, and what happens here? You know, the market skyrockets. So this is right after. This is May 16th. What happens, guys? We are at a low. I'm gonna go ahead and zoom in so I can show you guys. This is ridiculous. We are at our low here, May 16th, which is the last day of consensus. What happens? Everyone goes home. May 17th jump people come back in people 18th skyrocket here we go from bitcoin all the way from when can before consensus started at sixteen hundred dollars by the end of can you know within a week afterwards i think this is doubled almost doubled in price guys twenty seven hundred 
2760. That is ridiculous. And then, of course, we have some sort of correction, followed by a new all-time high. So, what what I'm trying to say here is that someone is, like, banging the floor below me. Um, hopefully you guys can hear that. Um, what I'm saying here, guys, is not only, I think, are we going to see a nice run from consensus, I'm also saying that, you know, we are going to probably have some sort of uh, correction because, again, um, money doesn't just get poured in without n some sort of correction. So I think we are going to have a, a very nice bull run. However, be careful because after consensus, uh, we could definitely see, um, you know, some sort of a correction or consolidation before we go back up. So it might be a good time to, you know, temporarily pull out to buy back in cheaper if you like doing that. Again, not professional financial advice by any means. However, you know, it's something to look at uh, from a historical aspect, right? So let's go ahead and um, something I also need to be better about is, you know, keeping my eye on here. And by the way, I should be hitting F11 so that you guys can see all of this um, better. I'm also going to hit that on here as well so I can see chat and I don't miss out on anything. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Also, guys, if you guys have not hit the like button already, do not forget to smack that like button. It does help out the channel a lot. It helps get the video out there. It helps support the live stream. Um, as we are currently trying to get our channel monetized so I can do giveaways and, um, you know, buy myself a new headset because my headset is currently hanging, hanging by a cord. <laughs> it's not quite useful anymore. Yikes. Um, so... That is the historical aspect of looking at the graphs after what happens to consensus, right? So if you guys have any questions, I'm going to go ahead and take questions now before I dive too far, too much deeper. Oh, let's get into some of these predictions. So let's actually, you know, let's, let's, that's, that's a really good one. Let's look at what happened with XRP last year at consensus. And so we're going to go to XRP to USD. Uh, a little bit nice. Oh, this doesn't look, okay, there we go. All right, cool. We're gonna go to the six month, and then we're going to rewind, well, we might not be able to. Maybe they won't let us. Hmm. One second, guys, sorry about this. Yeah, a lot of these charts aren't letting me go far back at all. So you guys, we might just have to, uh, we might not be able to check out XRP so I can show you guys a historical graph, or if I do it, here we go. Perfect, awesome. So here's a, here's a chart I found, rippled um, on Bittrex. Perfect, perfect. So let's talk about this. I know this is uh, asked from Sai uh, Pavon. I hope I'm not butchering your name, but I'm gonna go ahead and dive into this for you, dude. My dude. So here we are, May. I bet you're really happy that we looked at this now, right? So, well, let's look at this, right? You know, April, flatline, XRP heading down. Now, what does this look like? How long has XRP between been around this 50, 50 cent range? A while, what has it been doing? You know, kind of going downhill. Well, what's happening here? Almost the exact same thing, right? I mean, come on. So XRP has been heading, flatline, heading downhill, you know, kind of not doing anything. Consolidating has been poopy, um, like, let's be honest. And so, here we are. Sorry, I was just looking at the wrong thing. Here we are, right? XRP, I'm gonna go ahead and zoom in here so that we can get a better understanding of this chart. And what happens, right? Towards the end of April, we start getting consensus hype. This could be companies pre-buying in before and, and whales pre-buying in before the consensus. And, and here we go, right guys? We hit, Here we see consensus around this time, the 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, record, record levels for XRP. Massive run up, massive run up. If we look at this, XRP went from a 2500 Satoshi all the way up to a 2400 Satoshi. Look at, and I'm just gonna hold this here one more time so you guys can see. 2500 Satoshi to a 24,000 Satoshi. That is a exponential, exponential growth. Why? 
because Ripple, notoriously, guys, they are very good with their information. And I'm not, I'm not actually even completely sure if they're going to be at consensus, but I'm sure something around consensus is going to include Ripple or something along those means. And so Ripple is very good at communicating with investors and businesses and whales and, and you know, like scouts, I guess, because they're very good at handling their, I don't know what the word would be. They're very good at handling themselves with companies and presenting themselves. They have, I, I believe, Ripple has seen more partnerships than than any other cryptocurrency um, in this downtrend, and that's unique because in this downtrend, they have seen themselves get, been building up exponential amounts of partners. Now, I'm not saying Ripple is the best cryptocurrency. In fact, there are definitely some, you know, some problems with XRP Ripple. However. They, the technology that they use, you know, r when relating to banks and money transfer systems and, and things along those sorts and transaction times uh, and transaction fees are definitely very appealing to a lot of these people. And so that's why I think, you know, every time we see that, we see XRP, you know, significantly reducing the time and the cost for their coin and the exchange for it. Um, and so when companies and investors see this and they want to look into it, you know, again, it's just very appealing. And so that's why, you know, I, I believe, you know, last year that XRP had such a run up. And if you held this, you are, you know, what, what is that? What is that gain? 2,500 to 20, nearly 24, nearly to 2,500. That's a 10x gain almost. That's only, so if you would have held Ripple and you would have been like, oh man, it looks poopy, it's flat, whatever. Consensus hit, consensus hype hits. Boom almost a 10x gain on XRP. Now, I'm not saying that's gonna happen again, and I'm not promising money again. I just wanna show you guys these charts because historically speaking, consensus brings money into the market. But what happens after this consensus run, right guys? Consolidation, here we do. Here we see it, see it in XRP. Now, it, this thing dove back down um, only to you know have another run and actually reached even lower than it did previously here before, going all the way down to, you know. And I'm not sure what caused this hard of a crash on XRP. Um, but it definitely had a nice dip, and then here we do, you know, here we see this, you know, this another record level broken, um, you know, pushing ourselves up, you know, extremely high, and you know, that's where we saw XRP hit a couple dollars and uh, whatnot. So let's go ahead and see if there are any more questions. Um, Bitcoin prediction. So after this, um, I think it's hard to say. Uh, I don't think we're gonna break twenty thousand or any of that by any means. I think best case scenario by the summer. We could probably see, I want to say best case scenario, you know, best case scenario, we hit 20,000. Um, I don't see us realistically breaking the $1 trillion market cap this summer. I think that next, next winter run of December, January, I think we could peak over 1 trillion pretty easily. Um, I, I don't I don't think that's crazy or exaggerated at all. In fact, I think that's very, you know, very, very likely. Uh, so my Bitcoin prediction for for the summer run uh, peaking in around the May, June, probably around the June, July area. I think we're going to see a peak of Bitcoin probably somewhere back in the you know, back in five digits. And again, it's hard to make a prediction like this because the market has been so unique this year. But I think that we could very easily see Bitcoin run to. I think we could see Bitcoin run to a solid 14,000. And I, I don't want to make this overpriced or overhyped or anything because I'm going to give you guys realistic predictions. Um, excuse me, I don't know why I am not in F11. But I want to give you guys realistic pr uh, predictions. You know, I think that is going to be, that's more than a 2x gain on Bitcoin at the moment. Like, as we see Bitcoin value at 6,800 right now. So if that happened, just by holding Bitcoin alone, you would see, you know, more than double your money. Um, but I think, that's, I think that's a fairly realistic prediction. Why? Because there's going to be this kind of trust and easing back into crypto. Um, but I think that's going to be a very nice level in setting up for the winter run. And so we are going to see some sort of a dip after the summer. That's always happens right before the winter run. We see, you know, a nice little dip and head and head downwards. Uh, however, you know, come this come this winter run. That's what I'm extremely excited for is for next December 
and the next January, I think crypto is going to be, you know, blowing people out of the water. And I think people are just going to be a, a, astonished because crypto is going to break a $1 trillion market cap. I actually made a bet with some guy. Um, and, you know, I had people told me that, you know, by April or by May, cryptos would be in 5000 It would be in, you know, 3000 2000 I had people telling me it was going to be in the hundreds. Uh, a lot of these people, though, said, you know, around the 3000 range by now or, or within the next month. Um, and as we see, you know, crypto is not doing that at all. And I want to pull back up the, the, the Bitcoin chart so we can take a look at this. Not, not enough people, guys, I'm telling you, this is something I always get on people for. Not enough people look at the past uh, and see what Bitcoin did around this time last year. Now, again, history does not always repeat itself, but you can learn a lot about the future if you look at the past. You can learn from the mistakes, learn from what's happened before. You have to look into why, what happened during this time period, what caused this. You have, again, look into the past, guys. Know, know what's happening with your market. So here we are seeing some sort of consolidation, not quite like the one we saw up here where we had a run up, drop, run up, bull trap, and, and just collapse on itself. Um, so this is a little bit more of a unique, I guess a unique pattern here. Uh, we're at an interesting point in cryptocurrency and, and, and quite honestly, I think we this is more bullish than it is bearish. You know, a lot of people are gonna disagree with me, but the fact that we are consolidating here um, and not dropping any further in the downwards trend line is it is good. Granted, we need to see this happen for longer. Uh, it's really early to say that, I know, and I'm just being optimistic. Um, but this is a longer consolidation that we have seen so far, you know, going from uh, the 29th all the way to whatever today is, which is, I believe, the 10th. So this is a long consolidation that we have seen in this downtrend so far, or at least one of the, or I think it is the longest consolidation that we've seen so far. So I think what we're seeing is seller exhaust, uh, exhaustion, um, as well as just kind of mixed with a couple other factors and people are ready to buy into crypto. Also, guys, I'm going to be doing hopefully... Um, a video with hyped on crypto talking about the rockefeller organization or whatever you call them the rockefellers uh investing three trillion dollars into cryptocurrency uh you know what coins could be affected by that and what that's going to do to the entirety of the market now if you guys remember how much um Mount Gox sold off Bitcoin and how much that affected the market and how much that dropped off price. Imagine what happens when three more than you know, more than it's, essentially it's going to be probably you know trillions of dollars, but three trillion just from one person getting added to the market. The same thing flips. You know, if if the market took this big of a hit from Mount Gox selling, imagine if an even bigger source of income came into the market. What that would drive Bitcoin up to. So um, if if they you know I don't want to go too in depth because I'm trying to talk to them. I'm trying to do a you know, a segment with hyped on crypto so that we can talk about this. Um, but imagine just what that would do, $3 trillion, because not only, it wouldn't just be their $3 trillion, people would see the market going up and that would bring other people into the market as well. And so, you know, you would have sellers, but for the most part, you know, you'd have other people start piling money in because they'd be like, holy crap, the market's, you know, it's, it's booming again, here we go. It's going up, people are adding in, people are buying in, because why? Because people always buy on the hype um, and, you know, they sell in the, in the loss and that's kind of like the sad thing, but it's true because so many people buy into this FOMO and then they find themselves buying up here and then it drops back down here and then they're like, oh, well, I got to sell now and then it goes back up and, um, people don't understand that you, you know, you almost always want to buy in the red. So, you know, nine times out of 10, you buy in the red. So let's go back to the consensus website. If you guys are enjoying the live stream, go ahead and hit the like button and the subscribe if you guys are new. Welcome to the channel. I try to do at least a couple live streams a week and put out a couple videos. Also guys, I did make an Instagram account that I'm going to be extremely active on, much more active than I am on my Twitter um, because I use Instagram a whole lot more than Twitter. So scroll around here looking for a little bit more information i don't want to make this live stream too long but i want you guys to enjoy this and have and i try to make the live streams as interactive as i can um, i hope this is running still cool uh, i try to make these as active as i can so that you guys can ask me questions or ask me to look at coins we are i know some of you guys did ask for more of the um cryptocurrency explained videos where i go through and i explain in detail the fundamentals of a cryptocurrency and the work behind it so i'm going to be looking into a couple other coins to make content like that as well as trying to get some collaborations i'm also trying to look at some other crypto youtubers that you know aren't too big like you know ones that aren't like 50k plus um 
because, you know, quite honestly, I don't think any of them would do a collaboration with me, but I'm trying to look for other cryptocurrency YouTubers um, like myself and Hyped on Crypto that I can do collaborations and live streams and, you know, like podcasts and this stuff with where we talk about, you know, all the cryptocurrency. So let's talk about this area, you know, press in attendance, right? American banker, business insider, Bloomberg, CNBC, entrepreneur, uh, Esquire, I'm probably butchering that, I don't really know that one too well, Forbes, giant right there, uh, Financial Times, uh, Fortune, uh, ha Handles Block, I don't know, I don't, I do not know that one, uh, Market Watch, New York Post, Quartz, The Economist, New York Times, The Wall Street Journal, and Thomas uh, Reuters, I believe, I have not heard of that one either. Uh, but just giants in the air, you know, look, you know, American Banker, Business Insider, Bloomberg, CNBC, Forbes, that can, uh, the Economist, or I think that's how you say it, Economist, yikes, it's my English skills for you, you know, but anyway, there's, you know, Wall Street Journal, there's just giants in here that are going to be attending this thing, and you can expect that cryptocurrency is going to be flood, positive news is going to be flooded into the, into the environment from what's happening at Consensus. Why? Because, you know, they, they love stuff like this. You know, of course, you know, they love the negative news. That's just like, you know, how news works. They love bad things. And so that's why cryptocurrency always gets all these horrible articles written about it. Um, but they, you know, they also do really enjoy the good news as well. So, you know, when this comes out and consensus happens, you can expect all these people to be talking about cryptocurrency. And what's that going to do? That's going to expand the influence of consensus and cryptocurrency even further. And it's going to get more people to kind of look at it and give it a second glance, um, you know, that, that look back and probably and most likely bring even more people into the market because these giants are supporting it and writing about it and taking their time and their money to talk about it and intend it, which means something that itself is significant these people if they did not believe in this they would not be there if they did not believe this was significant at all these i guarantee you a lot of these you know huge names would not be there and this again this goes back into the rockefeller i don't want to talk too much about them because but that isn't that means more than you guys think for the Rockefellers to be investing three trillion dollars in the cryptocurrency. I don't want to talk about it too much in this video because there are, again, I'm trying to do a collaboration where me and a couple other people talk about that. But that is way more significant. That that's that is not just another person, another group investing three trillion dollars. Um, that it means so much more than that. So hopefully we'll be, have a video soon coming out on that. I also have a video coming out tomorrow or the next day, which is a collaboration with Hyped on Crypto, where we kind of introduce ourselves uh, in our histories with cryptocurrency and um, prepare for this, you know, series that we're going to be doing. My channel and their channel are going to be doing together. So, um, so let's look at this, right? Startups, 90% of you know the VC represented investment firms, funds, um, uh, nation, government agencies, supply chain, security, business, media, healthcare. Um, you know, financial institutions, enterprise, tech giants, insurance. Um, so pretty much, you know, every every aspect of the industry is going to be attending this thing, which feeds back into the the hype and, and the idea that this is going to be so big. Remember, guys, we looked historically speaking. What happens around consensus time? Um, drag this out here. What happens at consensus time? Here we are, May. Look at this. Look at this run up here. Look at this run up. Drop back down. Consensus, guys, it just builds hype. Then we start seeing, you know, this is what I said also, is that we see this drop before we see this winter run. Um, but for the most part, you know, and whether or not we're gonna ever see a run like that again is questionable, it's possible, but this is the greatest, econ, you know, one of the greatest runs in history of anything. Um, we could see something like this again. Um, but it's not as likely as it is before. Um, this was so much FOMO. <laughs> there was so many people who did not have a clue what cryptocurrency was or anything about it, and they were just buying in. I talked to a lot of people recently about that subject, and hopefully I'm able to, I might actually bring a couple of them in and actually do like an interview with them and talk to them about why they invested in cryptocurrency, what, what it meant to them, what got them to invest in cryptocurrency, because so many people <clears throat> just, you know, they saw this and they were like, I could 10x my money in a week. And they just threw everything out the window and put like 150 bucks in, or a lot of college kids I know. That was like the average amount that they put in. It was like 100, and, <clears throat> excuse me, 150 to like $250. And they just threw it in here. What happened? Um, 
Yeah, well, a drop. Um. So yeah. Any questions, guys? Anything that you guys want me to look at? I do not have to talk about consensus the entire time, but hopefully I have done a good job of being able to explain to you guys um, why this is going to be such a significant event and, and come pretty soon here, probably in a week or two, you guys are going to start seeing an uptrend in the market. And, and if we don't, if we, if we see a drop in the market in say two or three weeks, um, it would be a little bit shocking, but it wouldn't be anything too too harsh. Um, now, if it came around the time of, you know, middle of May and we see a, a drop, like right around the time of consensus, that would be definitely something that's scary because not only would it be breaking the historical uh, of what happens historically, but it would be, oh, I just, think I just got that dislike. I saw that thing pop up the second it happened. I'm sorry, man. Sorry, not enjoying this. Um, but yeah, lots of things. Lots of cool things happening in the future here. Again, we're in a very unique spot in the market right now. Why? Because we, I'm gonna zoom in on this one more time so I can explain it. Why? Because we're having a longer consolidation period than we ever have before. And what you could see here is some sort of, I guess you could say, I'm gonna draw this like super sloppy, but what you could say here is that you have some sort of descending triangle. You could always say that as well. So could XR, could you know could Bitcoin see some sort of a breakout here? Uh, yeah, it's possible. But remember, you know we are it's it's really early to call a lot of this stuff because we are still in this downwards trend line. Uh, you know, as we can see here, you know fairly easily, Bitcoin for the most part is still in this downwards trend line. Um, but this, you know, consolidation, you know, is better than, I want, I, you know, and I say that with, you know, caution. Consolidation is not always better than a decrease. Um, it's more uncomfortable for sure because you'd rather know that the market's either going up or down than it just kind of going sideways and dying. You guys look at the volume here. I want to go ahead and pull this up. Guys, the volume has been dead. Bitcoin's volume has just been suffering. And that's one of the scariest things, right guys? We haven't seen volume like, you know, that, that's just so low in a very long time. So that's another thing that people are worried about. I'm going to go ahead and point up, pull up the coin market cap here. Excuse me. It is getting a little bit late where I am. Yeah, absolutely, man. Sorry about that. I'll tell you what. I did not. My apologies. I did not know the music was so loud. Tell me how that sounds. Sorry about that, Robert. Again, I just. I have a whole new stream layout, so I'm still trying to adjust all of the sound, so my apologies for the music. Uh, if it was too loud, I'll try to get that tweaked. Sure, reduce the volume at at your background. Alright, I should have done that. If it's still bad, I can turn it down even more. So go ahead and give me either a thumbs up, thumbs down, and I will adjust the sound even further. Yeah, sorry about that guys. Again, I'm still I have a new setup, so I'm just trying to get all the sound fixed here. Um Thumbs up or thumbs down? Sound too good? Sound good now? Sounds still bad? Is the music still too loud? Hopefully this is good. Alright, so I'm going to just assume that that means that the sound is better now. I did turn it down, so... Um, again, it's too early to call this because we still are in a downwards trend line. Um, again, but the you know we do have the longest period of consolidation that we have seen in the entirety of this bear market. Much better, thanks, man. Yeah, yeah, well, Robert. I just want to apologize for that. I didn't, I did not know. My apologies, dude. If you have any questions, be sure to ask me. 
Um, I'll try to you know respond as fast as I can about uh, whatever I can. I also want to talk about a, a second topic here, and I might. I almost want to do a separate live stream for this because it is such a. Music. The music was fine. All right. Well, either way, now it's turned down a little bit. So, um. I don't know if you guys have heard about this guy. His name, he's been coming up a lot more recently. Um, and, and someone who's really kind of, I guess, bringing him to fame more so was this guy named the Mon... No, not the Mon. His name was Teenage Investor. Now his name is Alex Cobb. And he is a, another cryptocurrency YouTuber. He almost he almost only does XRP Ripple news. Um, but there's this guy by the name of Bearable, Bearable Guy 123 on Twitter, for the most part. And... Excuse me, I gotta mix this up. And he is most likely a Ripple insider. And he, he has made some crazy, crazy predictions about XRP. Like, I think it was in January, he was like, um, he like had, he posted a picture. He always posts riddles and pictures and puzzles and makes people solve them out. But by the time people solve them, it's like, you know, it's like too late. And so he posted something in January about MoneyGram, about XRP partnering with MoneyGram and MoneyGram partnering with Walmart. And it has like XRP pointing to Walmart and like all this stuff. And that was in January. So there's like no way he could have known that. Tron. Yeah, dude. I, I'll talk about Tron because why? Because I'm looking to buy in the Tron. I am looking to buy in the Tron and so are people I know. Um, some of my friends as well. Um, you know, some people think that's stupid, but... We'll talk about it, right? Let's pull up Tron on CoinMarketCap. Actually, let's pull it up on uh, TradingView. Um, I know that there was another coin. Uh, exaggerate. So, yeah, we'll cover that just uh, real fast. I do not know too much about that, so I can't, like, tell you like a professional. I do know a lot more about Tron than I do Exatra. It's not on CoinMarketCap, so I'm going to assume that it's new, not on here either. Exatra. Yeah, sorry, man. I have no way of looking at that. Just couldn't hear you very well. Oh yeah, dude, no worries at all. Um, you know, I fixed that, so hopefully, you know, I'm nice and clear now. So let's look at TRX because I cannot look at that Xandra coin. I can only if you can. S now there's no music. Oh no. Oh no. Whoa. Hopefully that's not too loud. <laughs> Hopefully I didn't screw anything up there. Let me know if you guys can hear it. Oh wait, this is broken. Now there's no music, you're right. Um, let's do this. There we go, music. Music's back, music is back. So let's look at Tron. Now why do I want to buy into Tron? Pull this up here. I don't know if I want to do the six month. Let's do a three month. There's my little triangle. Look at these descending triangles. Look at this. Um, zoom in here. So here is the massive, massive run up of Tronnet and them getting added to BitThumb. Two, two different run ups. Keep that in mind. Tron. Well, well, I uh, I actually do not know what happened with Tron at the last at the last um run up here. Let me um. Oh well, they were added to Binance. Excuse me, they were added to Binance. Um, much later, like November last year. So I don't know if we can check that out unless I go to another exchange. I'm not. I'm gonna be completely honest. I'm not sure when the official release of Tron even was. All right, so it was September, so we can't even look at that anyway. Man, they started incredibly cheap for months, dude. Man, if you guys would have bought Tron, it was under a cent for so long. That's crazy. Anyway, sorry, I get sidetracked super easy. Um, Tron right now, run up, massive drop consolidation. I don't know why I didn't buy in here. I told myself I was going to. I just kind of forgot. Tron ran up. 
never buy at the top. Look at this. Look at this candle. If Tron breaks this, you know, this, you know, wherever it is right now, if it breaks right here, you know, you can expect this thing to drop probably. 500 Satoshis easy. However, I said it was, you know, if it broke that, it was going to hit 500 Satoshis easily. Um, never broke that line. And here we do. You know, here we saw BitThumb go up and now it's consolidating and kind of now I'm not, I'm not going to say bleeding out here, but it is consolidating a, a little bit. And so I'm trying to find my spot in Tron um because it's holding very good support and now this is something that we don't usually see tron do at least not historically speaking um tron always has its pumpy dumpy um run-ups right it pumps up and then, you know it kind of collapses on itself but here here we see a couple times in a row now um you know, or at least two times in a row right guys tron goes or more than that tron goes up consolidates for a little bit has this little descending triangle breaks out um descending triangle falls out of it goes back up uh, you know, we see this kind of consolidation. I don't know if that would even be consolidation. Here we have a little bit of consolidation over in this area, um, followed by a breakout, uh, con uh, uh, correction, breakout, correction, breakout, and then we have a you know a, a much harder correction for the entirety of this run up. But you know that correction is still nothing because it went from 332 satoshi satoshis to the low of 434. So that's almost a 2x gain at the worst part of the correction right so if we see this you know you know we have our run-ups corrections run-up corrections but every time we we see this right guys we see more consolidation in tron now it's holding its lines uh, at previous at previous highs which is unique because tron is not is not a coin that you usually expect to do something like this so here we have our next run-up right guys it's followed by some sort of a correction um, perfectly normal here It'd be with with such a run up that Tron had going from 431 Satoshis to breaking almost into the 700 range. Um, you know, we had our correction consolidation a little bit, followed down um, another run up, and here we see Tron consolidating again. Would it be a good time to buy Tron? Probably not at the moment, but very soon, right? XRP lawsuit. Um. Yeah, there's like there's like a lot of different. I'm I'm trying to find like what news is real and what news is fake on that because there's so many like mixed articles that I've seen regarding that. So I don't want to. That's why I don't want to talk about that too much because I don't want to give out misinformation. If you guys know anything about my channel, I like to keep it real and I like to give you guys like real news. I'm not saying that that's not, but you know, something that I don't know too much about and something that I could be giving misinformation on. I just kind of want to avoid that because I do not want to give any of my subscribers misinformation. I want to keep it real here. Um, and so hopefully you can respect that. Um, I try to do my best to be able to educate and help everyone um, without, you know, talking too much on things I don't know and don't understand. There are people who, you know, they love to just put stuff out on YouTube that they have no idea what they're talking about because it gets some good views, but. I try to stay away from that. Uh, seems like TRX starts to roll up faster when XVG cools off. Many people are arbitrating, um, arbitrating back and forth from Verge and Tron. You are good, no biggie. Thanks, Robert. K hole. I'm a hodl both. Yo, get ready to sell Tron. Or get ready to sell Verge. Excuse me. Just had another. Just had another moon run. Few small timers posted videos on how big on how to be greedy and ride XVG until their partner on the 17th. Then hop back on the TRX for maintenance. Yeah, dude, uh, a, a lot of people did that. I personally did not, I rode Tron for a little bit. I did not ride Verge because for a while I had, you know, trust issues with Verge just cause like a lot of things I'd heard um, and seen, but um, Verge, man, people are starting to take it more seriously, right? I'm, I, I'm in a crypto, I talk to a lot of crypto people and people are starting to take verge more seriously right you know it's always been known as a meme coin or as a joke or you know the the meme privacy token but you know it's starting to be taken more seriously now so um verge is no longer this joke or a meme coin for the most part it's starting to be you know this realistic cryptocurrency that people are looking at uh the charts on it are exponential we'll go ahead and take a look at verge after this but yeah man I'm riding TRX. Uh, XVG is too shady. I kind of agree with you there. That's why I'm hesitant to buy in um, until I find out these uh, that this partnership's val uh, validity on the 17th of April. Yeah, expect after the 17th of April for Verge to dump. Just saying. 
Historically speaking, same thing happened with Tron Mainnet. Tron Mainnet, run, 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 run. Mainnet hits, right? <laughs> fart noise, insert fart noise here, right? Drops. So, just, you know, typically things ride more from the hype than they do from the actual launch and implications thereafter. So, how do I feel about Kate? Uh, ADA. ADA, I'm currently holding. I am very bullish on ADA. Um, and I just bought some not too long ago. Because ADA is looking real nice. <laughs> we'll look at ADA after we take a, a quick look at Verge. So my, my advice on Tron, I'm talking to a couple of people. Um, pretty soon here, I think there's going to be a nice spot to buy into Tron. Um, it's holding these support levels very nicely. So if anything, you'll see Tron drop into like the lower 500s, you know, around this range of 515 Satoshi. Um, if, if it breaks out of this, then th that could be dangerous. Let's just kind of like take a look at here because... I'm gonna draw some things up here so we can have a decent look at Tron, right? Hmm. Yeah, I mean, Tron pretty soon here, guys. I would give Tron... I'll probably look at buying into Tron within the next couple days. That's going to be my, my, my personal opinion of when I'm looking, um, and I help one of my friends invest. I'll personally be looking at both of us to buy into Tron. Again, I'm not guaranteed to buy in, but I'm going to be... If I am going to, it's going to be within the next couple days here. Because I'm interested to see what's going to happen with Tron. It might fall, but um, if it does go on an, uh, another major run, you know, risk first reward. So, and it's not betting, but I'm interested. You know, at the moment, Tron. I want. I don't want to say it's you know too overpriced. Um, I think you know at its peak, it was ridiculously overpriced. Um, but Tron still has a lot of way to build this year, and I think it's going to. I think Tron will easily break 1,000 Satoshis this year. So at the spot right now, that'd be, you know, within itself a 2x gain, so. Anyway, let's look at this Verge. Verge is gonna be super fast, guys. Verge is not gonna be a long one at all. XVG, I just wanna kinda go into this a little bit. Binance. Yeah, Verge, phew, it, this thing dumped the, it went full dump mode. And then here we are, guys. So I would be careful. Um, when we look at a chart like this, guys, don't FOMO. Whatever you do, don't don't FOMO here. Don't FOMO. <laughs> this is a horrible time to FOMO. Why? Because there hasn't really, really besides this, there hasn't been a correction. What hap What what does this look like to you guys? What does this look like to you guys? I'm gonna delete all this. It's all just chilling over here. That was really old. It's raw predictions. <laughs> What does this look like to you guys? I, want, I, I, I like legit want to know. We'll do ADA after this for sure. Can't wait to see TRX run in the next month. Its community is strong and it's almost cultish. It really is, and a lot of people joke about that. But that's a not necessarily a bad thing. That's you know kind of a good thing that people look at Tron as like a cult. Their their following is so strong, which is for the most part good. Um, but they also have one of the highest volumes out of every cryptocurrency. If you guys don't know, the cryptocurrencies with the most volume, I believe, are Bitcoin, Ripple, and Tron, um, as well as Ethereum. But there are, you know, there are other coins, but those are like the four main in in volume and that are traded every day um, because they have the biggest followings for the most part. Verge is, you know, certain have mad amounts of volume too. So, oh yeah, she topped off at. 1300 sats uh, and lost steam. <laughs> not a time. Not a time to be in FOMO, baby. Yeah, guys. Do not FOMO in here. This thing is so high. Topped off. At, you know, it's like. Um, <laughs> it's like K Hole is just saying. You know, Verge topped off at, you know, just 13 pushing 1400 Satoshis. And this is not the time to buy in. You cannot look to buy into Verge at. At this price because you're asking for trouble so what does this look like for the most part right <laughs> get on Fortnite what does this look like for the most <laughs> Fortnite coin guys someone make a Fortnite coin that's my million dollar idea um one coin for every player that there is in Fortnite so like 15 million coins or something 
Um, but no, so what we have here is this massive runoff. What does this look like, right? Well, I'll show you guys what this looks like. What, the, what does this look like to me? That looks exactly like this sort of deal, right? Run up, not too much of a consolidation. Second run up, we see a, a little consolidation. Third run up, we peak, it dips. What happens? Crash. So what happens here? Let's just, you know, let's just kind of compare. First run up, consolidation. Second run up, correction. Third run up, dumpy time. We'll see some sort of a bounce here in my opinion probably you know lower than it's at the point right now but we'll see some sort of a bounce followed by another dump with verge so when i look at a chart like this it reminds me exactly of this almost verbatim quite honestly if you look at it every single aspect of this chart looks almost verbatim from the previous run up so just be careful be careful with um verge right now guys probably not your best time to fomo in personally that's my opinion but i am not a professional financial advisor by any means so take that into account because FOMO is bad. Remember, remember that. Let's take a look at ADA. ADA, BTC. I'm excited, guys. Before April's up, we should be able to have super chats and stuff, um, which will be really cool. I don't know if you guys have seen. Wait, let me pull this up real fast so I have editor and all that. So I can see, make sure I didn't miss anything. All right, cool. I have not missed any notifications. Good for me. Yeah, but no, as you guys can see over there, I think it is, um, top donator, last donation, and then up here, I have latest subscriber and all that. You know, I love this heads up display that I made. And so we have all sorts of things that are ready to be filled. And it's awesome. I'm so excited. Whew, anyway, on to ADA. And then we'll probably have a wrap up and then we'll head out and take any questions else, any other questions that we can. So ADA, ADA is at a low price right now. You guys can look, ADA is cheap, right? You know, it was, it got pretty overpriced as a lot of coins did. Um, you know, what did it sit at? Almost 8,900 Satoshis. So, or 8,800 Satoshis, excuse me. So, whew. All the way from 8,800 Satoshis to where it is right now, 22, almost 2,300 Satoshis. ADA is a, lot, a long way to climb. We haven't necessarily, if we look at stuff like Tron, Verge, um, and a lot of these other coins, I don't you know, no, XRP. Well, XRP actually is a bad example, but uh, what would be a better example? NEO and um, Stellar, EOS. If we look at like a lot of those coins, you know, they've had some sort of like a nice little run up in here. Cardano, on the other hand, has not, right? For the most part, we've seen it just kind of chilling, right? We had the dip, we had the run up. Consolidation. Personally, you know, I think Cardano is about ready for a run. Um, I think Ripple could be ready for a run as well. And so for that for that reason, I am in both Cardano and XRP at the moment. Um, you a programmer, bro? I am not really a programmer. Why do you ask, though? <laughs> I love tech and all that, but I don't do too much programming for the most part. So, again, I believe that Cardano, um, Cardano is a very good project as well. As well. I, I personally believe that it really is a good project. So if you guys look into Cardano at all, um, you guys will see that. I don't know what I just hit on. Um, Cardano is a very good project, and I think Cardano could be ready to see some sort of a run here. Again, it's not guaranteed or anything. They are kind of in an ascending triangle at the moment, um, which is not necessarily a good thing. But this could be a bullish pattern developing at the same time. So, you know, we'll see. We really will. Cardano is in a bit of a weird spot, but for the most part, Cardano is cheap. So, right, right guys, you want to buy when it's cheap just when you think the coin's dead. You know, we see the flat line, you know, we're giving it CPR, boom, it shoots up, right? Hopefully, right? That's the idea is that we see it. We look at the coins that look dead, the coins that are the farthest down, the coins that are the most in the red, the coins that have not seen the run, and that's when we want to buy in before the run hits. Sell at the top. You buy in the red, sell in the green. So I'm looking at Cardano because, again, it's so cheap at the moment. Um, I think it's at just under 15 cents right now. What's better, ADA or XLM, in your opinion, Cardano? 
I think Cardano is better than Stellar in my opinion. But that's just me. And a lot of people disagree with that, but that's my opinion. And... Yeah, both will increase, um, for sure. Both will increase. Um, and, and don't get me wrong, Stellar is a great project. Um, I just really like Cardano, you know. I think it's a phenomenal project, phenomenal everything. You know, I, I think it's a very solid coin. Um, I just really like everything about it. Uh, Stellar, nothing against Stellar. I think it's, you know, an absolutely phenomenal cryptocurrency as well. And there's a reason why it's, I think, at number eight right now. Yeah, number eight. Um, there's a reason why I can die. Cardano set. No, I'm just kidding. Um, but you know, both of them are very good cryptocurrencies. You know, I don't think you could go wrong uh, holding either of those. And so, O'Brien ADA. <laughs> yeah, dude, they're both great coins. Uh, what do you think of Syndicator? Um, Syndicator. I've actually looked into. I haven't looked at Syndicator in a while, but for a while, a lot of people would ask me about that when I was able to do more live stream or live streams more often. Syndicator. What are they at now? 105. Ooh, yikes. I didn't know that they fell out of the top 100. <clears throat> Let me pull up their website because I'm more into like fundamental understandings, and you can. Contrary. What in the world was that? All right, trade smarter with the next gen predicted. I mean, I don't. I'm gonna be honest. I don't know too much about Syndicator. And we're running towards the end of this live stream. What I can do though is I can look in the syndicator and I can make it and I can add it to the cryptocurrency explained uh, series that we have running at the moment. And I can go ahead and make a video on that doing syndicator explained. Um, like I've done with Steemit, I've done it with Neblio, I've done it with Ncash, I've done it with Pivx, I've done it with Binance Coin. Um, and I can go ahead and add syndicator to the list as well as a couple other points that people have asked me to do to add to the cryptocurrency explained series that I'm doing at the moment. Um, and yeah, so I will keep syndicator in there. Because um, I, again, I don't know too much about syndicator. Oh, is this the artificial intelligence token? I think I remember this now. Hybrid intelligence for effective asset management. 95,000 plus decentralized financial analysts enhanced by artificial intelligence. Okay. I kind of do remember this now. It looks cool. I'm a little bit skeptical of the project, but it looks cool. I think something that they're la lacking, and they can't get, and I understand that they can't give out too much, but they need to have like proof because people are really skeptical of like this thing, of these like bots. Because, you know, bit, the BitConnect bot, the Devor bot and like all this stuff like that and so people are really skeptical of that stuff so i think that's why um syndicator fell out of the top 100 because people are kind of done with all that um nucleus uh vision and cash is super cheap been doing uh been doing some research on them not sure though yeah i actually have a couple videos on and cash um i called and cash was a great buy at two cents next thing you know it went over four cents um i i let everyone in my discord know about it i said hey guys you know, Ncash, I made the video, let everyone know, Ncash shot up, I said, hey guys, get ready, it's about to, you know, dump, not necessarily, well, yeah, dump, <laughs> it dumped, um, from, you know, over four cents back down to in the two cent range, and so now we see Ncash at 2.9 cents, no, excuse me, yeah, yeah, excuse me, yeah, so Ncash is at 2.9 cents at the moment, uh, let me just double check that, so I'm not giving you guys any sort of misinformation, um, I'll just pull it up on here. But for the most part, I love, I, I stalk, yeah, so here we are, 2.97 cents, uh, up 7% today. So, you know, good stuff for Ncash. Ncash is in the top 100 now. Good for them. They are making their way. Um, is Ncash a cheap buy at the moment? Um, let's pull them up. Because I want to see them a little bit cheaper. I'm not sure if they will get there, though. I've been looking at around 2 point. Five cents as a buy-in for me personally, I would really like it to see that level. Whether or not it's going to see that level again, maybe not. But I don't. It's hard to say because this coin's so new and it has so much potential, and so you don't want to miss out on on buying opportunities with a coin like this because it has a lot of potential to grow in this year to come. So let's go ahead and look at this, right, guys? We see this peak followed by you know the dump I talked about, right? It hit two cents here, and I was like, this is a great buy. Anyone who's not holding end cash now, like. You're gonna wish you did. Boom, doubled your money. Imagine if you know, put in a hundred dollars, 
$500, doubled it, um, sold somewhere up in here. And so here we are consolidating, right? Again, it's a little bit high right now. It's in an ascending triangle. Um, you might wanna wait for this dip to dip down a little bit uh, to buy back in because it is kind of at almost, not like a record level high, but it's about to hit this previous high, excuse me, it's about to hit that previous high level again. So you never wanna buy at the top of anything. Um, granted, it's a new coin, so you know, whether you FOMO or not, generally FOMO is not a good thing. You don't want to fear of missing out. You want to kind of make sure that you get this thing not when it's almost at its previous high, um, but generally a little bit cheaper. So just take that into account when you're looking at uh, in cash. I'm sorry, guys. Wow, you guys have been killing the comments. Thank you guys so much for the support, by the way, tonight. I uh, just want to let you guys know I do not take any of this for granted. I appreciate all of you guys so much, and you guys are the reason that I'm able to do this. And sure. You know, I, I say that, I don't get paid, but you guys make me want to do this, right? That's how this works. Uh, marketing tech will be huge in the future. I agree, in the future, absolutely. So that's why you see things like Neblio and um, what are some of those other big coins that are like big on building like foundational structures for the future on cryptocurrency? People always show me them and I always tell them it's not the best tool now, but when cryptocurrency becomes more mainstream, you're gonna see some of those coins blow up hardcore blow up like really like geez um these coins that are going to be integrating major parts of society like music and businesses and retail and like just everything around that money anything that's going to be making the real world transition um into the blockchain transition anything that's going to be helping that and, and really exceeding it that is going to be really really good marketing tech will be huge i agree come towards the future um ooh, lots of comments all right let's go through these um i'm read the other day that xrp's market cap uh value is a 20 dollar per token uh it's currently not at that much Peep, some people think it's going to happen this year it's i can almost tell you with certainty xrp is not going to hit 20 i i guys i am bullish on xrp especially at the price it is right now but I do not think that you're going to see XRP hit $20 this year. I'm not even sure it'll hit $5 this year, which is it. Everyone's saying it's going to hit $5 this year, which means it has to break its previous high, right? I don't think that's going to happen. I really don't. But it's possible, right? You know, $5 is a lot more probable than $20. $20, I think, is, is way too insane. Um, that's those people that you see on those YouTube videos that overhype everything and they put out, view, they put out videos so that they can get views and AdSense. I don't do videos like that um, for the most part. I put out a couple of videos that I thought were like pretty um, pretty justified, but like XRP announced and Coinbase, they're like, we're gonna be doing an interview right next to uh, Brad Garlinghouse, the CEO of Ripple. We're gonna be doing a video with a huge announcement tonight on CNBC, hot, fast money. And this is gonna be this amazing thing. It's like them together. And so everyone in the world thought, Oh, well, they're going to announce Ripple on Coinbase. Get ready. And so I made a video about that, but like I got I got baited. <laughs> that would be nice. Thank you so much. Yeah, absolutely, Robert. Glad I can help you guys. Uh $20 XRP again. I don't see that happening. Um it's too much money. It's you guys would realize that the market cap. I think if if I think I could be wrong, but if XRP hit $20 like within the next couple of months, it would be way past Bitcoin. <laughs> it would be way past Bitcoin. And, and for $20 to go into XRP, or, or for that much money to go into XRP, there would be there would have to be so much more money into the market. So it's not like only XRP would go up. If XRP went up to $20, you'd have to see Bitcoin go up exponentially. And you'd have to see Ethereum go up. But like if, if XRP hit $20 right now, it'd be like way past the worth of Bitcoin, which is not gonna happen personally. I love XRP guys, don't get me wrong. But it's not going to be a twenty dollar token here soon. Um, it could again in the future. It's very possible, but within this next couple of months or, or by the end of the year, I don't see that happening. That's all the silicon investors priced uh, priced our XRP. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I, again, those guys are way more successful and rich than I am. So you know, I can't bad talk them, and I'm not trying to by any means. Those guys are rich and they're awesome and they know what they're doing. Uh, but personally, but based off my experience with cryptocurrency and, and knowing how they work. Um, a twenty dollar XRP would be uh, a little bit too bullish, if that makes any sense. 
Um, so yeah. Jeez, I am so sorry I'm falling behind here. Uh, looks like I need to join your Discord. Yeah, dude, the Discord is in the description below, man. I, um... Every, again, I don't charge anybody for anything. I just hear because I love helping people. I love informing people. Um, you know, my YouTube, not, nothing I do is monetized. Um, I, I have donations set up, but as you guys can see, you know, I don't I think it's over in this corner. or is, It's over in that corner, but, you know, like, everything I've done, you know, all the videos that I've put out, completely free. I have earned zero dollars from YouTube. I just really enjoy helping people, educating people, so that they can make smarter decisions in their life and hopefully have a better lifestyle towards the future. You know, that's you know, in the end of the day, that's what it's all about. So, hopefully, YouTube will start paying me here soon with AdSense, which will be super nice. That'll be cool. I'll be able to do giveaways because I can't do giveaways now because I'm a broke, a broke uh, college student studying business. Um, yeah, Discord's in the description below. All right, let me, wow, you guys are killing the comment section. You guys are doing awesome tonight. Thank you guys so much for all being here. Really appreciate it. Really appreciate it. Thank you so much, Richard, Cahill, Robert, E. Steffens, all of you guys for commenting, being active, and staying in here. Uh, don't think NCash will drop much more. Great project, and India alone will push it. Yeah, India's in a little bit of a hard, is in a little bit of a pickle at the moment. Um, with all their regulations, again, people are like, they're banning, they're banning cryptocurrency for good, they're not, um, again, that's FUD, but, um, they're regulating, they're regulating hard, but not completely banning forever, um, and cash great, yeah, I don't know if it'll go down too much more, you might see, like, a little bit of drop here to, like, 418 Satoshis, again, it's just kinda, you don't ever wanna buy when it's nearing an all, you know, when it's nearing a high, you never want to buy it that, that that peak here, which we're basically at right now. Um, so, you know, yeah, just kind of keep an eye on Uncash. All right. Um, plan for North America next year, going to 3x their tech within one year. What tech are you talking about, K-Hole? Um, cryptocurrencies or some sort of other tech? or a coin in specific. So a lot of these coins are gonna be 3X within the year. Absolutely, your channel's awesome, yo, Robert. That means the world, dude. Um, thank you so much for saying that. Same thing with you, E. Stephens. Thank you guys so much for the support. It means a lot. Uh, if you wore sunglasses, you'd be... If you wore sunglasses, you'd be super man. <laughs> thank you so much, man. That's awesome, yo, yo, real talk though. Thank you guys so much for the support, it means a lot. Um, yes, it'd be serious. Holy crap, there are so many comments. <laughs> I'm sorry. Ah. Uh, let's go ahead and talk here. I haven't had a live stream this nuts since. Maybe I'm just slow. Maybe I need to talk less. <laughs> just walk through the mall and match the brands that are already partnered with Nucleus Vision. It's going to be great. Huge track dropper. Absolutely, yeah. I think Nucleus Vision is phenomenal. The only issue that I have with it, and this is not my this is not my issue, but what a lot of people are talking about is the privacy aspect of Nucleus Vision. But again, it's not something. It's like you know, you open up your phone, it's like install. It's something that you have to like agree to and like check the I agree button and conditions button and all that. Um, you know, like sign the whatever it is, the waiver, the legal document. It's not something that's you know. So the people that are on Nucleus Vision, it's going to be their right. Um, it's going to be like their choice. It's not something that's like a privacy issue because all the people using it are going to be people that agree to use it. So whether or not you think that's a security risk we, means whether or not you'll download the Nucleus Vision app. So, which is that? Is that on the Apple App Store right now? I want to download that because I want to see what stores are adding it. I'm a huge supporter of Encash. I'm trying to buy my way back. There's so many coins I want to buy into, but <laughs> I don't have the money. Um, all my investments already in. Um, Lamau YouTube, YouTube TRX to 16. Is that a video? Is someone telling you that it's going to be a $16 and 87 cents coin? If they do, dude. Like, I don't usually dislike videos because, you know, crypto tubers are content creators for the crypto world, but that is the news, like JR Business and some of these other guys that just do not, those are the people who do not care about their community, they do not compare, uh, com care at all about their subscribers, they do not care if you guys get educated, they do not care if 
you guys lose your money or or anything. That, that's what makes me angry. Is that and these are the guys, you know, they make that video so that they can get like lots of AdSense or subscribers or whatever, and they clickbait it and they give you all sorts of false information and make you buy into this coin, probably because they're already invested into it. And it's so frustrating because you see people like that, and I don't understand as a YouTuber who has a community and like understands it. Um, I do not understand how someone can do that to their subscribers and to their community and just bait them in like that. Like, I, it, it's beyond me. People who make videos like that saying XRP is going to be almost $17 in a week, like, it, it disgusts me, quite frankly. Oh, it's a pet peeve. That's why I am currently only partnered with one other YouTube channel and company, which is Hyped on Crypto, because they are reliable. If you guys haven't checked them out, check out Hyped on Crypto and Hyped on Crypto Live on YouTube. They have a main channel as well as a live streaming channel, and they also have a, a giant Discord with 3,200 people. It's ridiculous. Um, they also have a website where they have coin analysis on like every coin. It's ridiculous. So they're awesome. Check out Hyped on Crypto. They're super awesome, guys. A huge supporter of them and their YouTube channel as well. They're literally some of the best people on YouTube. Um, they are my favorite other YouTube channel, right? So, um, all right, back to the comments. How far am I? Oh my goodness. Um, they're talking about finding money to buy current investors of XRP. Big banks said that they don't want to invest with us. <laughs> Um, yeah, whether we'll see what happens with banks and cryptocurrencies. That's why cryptocurrency or XRP is moving on to money transfer systems because banks are going to be take a longer process to ease into cryptocurrency than money transfers will because there's less risk versus you know, there's less of a risk. Um, we are doing a live stream from an unmarked van across the street of Coinbase headquarters. It's gonna be huge. Is that legit? <laughs> totally JK, that's creepy. All right. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. Uh, come on, man. I was getting ready for the show. What in the world? <laughs> what am I reading here? Okay, sorry. Wow, so many. Hey, uh, welcome to the live stream, Dimitri Jones and uh, Silver Star Pro. Welcome to the live stream, my boys. Sorry, I'm, I'm trying to get caught up on all these comments. You and Laura Ray make the most sense for the community. Uh, you mentioned Hyped on Crypto, and I'm a big fan of them as well. Yeah, dude, I absolutely love all of them. And so Hyped on Cray is just one member, or Hyped on Ray. Uh, Lord Ray is just one of the members from Hyped on Crypto, man. They're all they're all like that. They're all such solid, great guys. I just made a video with another guy on their channel called uh, California Sparks. That video will be coming out within the next couple days here. So you guys will be able to see someone else from Hyped on Crypto. Uh, I love those guys. Huge supporter. They give you real education, real news. And they, they, man, they are so solid. If you guys want a realistic YouTube channel that you guys can learn from every single day, check them out. Um, I'm in almost every live stream that they have, almost every video that they post I watch because I'm still in a learning process, right? We're all in a learning process here. Um, thank you, though. Yeah, dude, I'm sure Lord Ray, you know, I'll pass that on to him. He loves all the support as, as a do I. He just started a Patreon, by the way, so if any of you guys want to go join that, by all means. Ncash White Paper, their tech that tracks shoppers and stores. Yeah, so again, that's why it's like, whether it's a privacy issue or not, um, is still kind of up for debate, and I think that's what's limiting, limiting its growth right now, but I still think it's revolutionary, and I think Ncash has a bright future, especially within the next year here, as they have already busted into the top 100 cryptocurrencies. So we'll see, well again, we'll see what happens with Ncash, but we've talked about them a lot, so let's go ahead and move on. Um, I'm hoping Neo gets back. I'm hoping Neo gets back up in the 100s. Yeah, for sure. Neo will. Don't worry about that, man. It's just a matter of time. Uh, Neo will. <clears throat> Neo will 3x in 2018. That is very, very possible. I'm sorry. Wait, what is happening with my music? I totally forgot I had music running. Guys, is there still music going? Oh, I do. I don't even know what this music is because it's not mine. Um. All right. Uh, hopefully the music's good. Um, I didn't even realize I had music running. I'm sorry. Um, yeah, again, Neo is one of those things. In my opinion, I, I'm not a professional financial advisor. I always say this. Um, but Neo, and uh, quite personally, I think that Neo will have no problem going back into 100s at all. Neo is one of those coins I want to get into, and I I basically had a, enough money to invest into two coins. Um, and it's two out of three coins. It was X. It was either. XRP, Cardano, and Neo. Um, and I was gonna go Cardano and Neo, and 
Instead, I went Cardano and XRP. Now I'm regretting going in on XRP and not NEO because NEO just shot up from 47 bucks to 57 bucks. And yeah. Um, have you heard of Up Token? I have not heard of Up Token. I can go ahead and look that up if you would like. Up. Let's go ahead. And, yeah, let's go ahead and check it out, man. Maybe it was a typo. 68 cents. They just want your money. <laughs> let's check this up. All right, let's check this out. All right, so this coin has been around. Okay, so it's a fairly new coin. March 22nd launch. Cool, cool, cool. Here we do. This is nothing. Don't look at this as, as a bearish sign. Everything drops off after ICO. We saw the exact same thing happen to NCash. Um, every ICO does this. Out of ICO release or out of coin release, you see this thing, you know, you see everything drop off here. Ranked at number 300. What exchanges is it on? Up at Bitrix. Really good. It, you know, it's on good exchanges. Only way this could improve here you know, is is if we see it on Binance or something like that. Probably too new of a token to see it on there, but let's check out their website. Um, up token. Join us. UpToken.org. Sale begins on October 16th to 17. Uh, okay, so I don't like that. This is outdated. They shouldn't have an, up, an outdated video on the main part of their page. Um, I'm a business major, so I love critiquing websites. You can tell a lot about a company and where they're going based off their website and their layout, how professional it looks. This is one of the things that I've been studying literally quite literally the entire semester uh, of this year. So the entire since January all the way up to this point, um, I have been, you know, one of my things is I have to study websites um, and learn, you know, good versus bad and really micro analyze this stuff. So that's something that has taught me to do. Uh, while getting my business degree is micro analyzing websites and seeing the good the bad the pros the cons all that and what i can learn um based off the company off their website so um there's too much blank space here which you know it's kind of weird uh, you know color scheme's cool but in, in an outdated video so a crypto atm on every corner worldwide all right <clears throat> i need some water excuse me I still, who, who was the one talking about the van earlier? That was really funny. Across from Coinbase. <laughs> I'll see him in the news. Two men arrested. <laughs> Stalking Coinbase headquarters. <laughs> two men, two men approach Coinbase headquarters. Approach it with gun. Demand TRX be added. <laughs> in the name of John McAfee. Verge too. Um, <clears throat> awesome, thanks. Uh, when they released on Coin Market Cap, uh, their volume was at twenty five million. The project is superb. How do you feel about the Braid Chain? We'll get into that right after this. Uh, forget their names. Uh, twins that were part of Facebook. They opening a huge hedge fund exchange this Thursday with a huge group. Um, because they invest differently. Um, because they invest differently, what's your opinion? How will it affect us? I don't know anything about that. <laughs> um, Steve. I don't know anything about that. I'm going to be honest. <clears throat> Wait, why is my chat on the right side of the screen? It should be in the box above me. I'll fix that after the stream. Apologies. Website looks sketchy. Um, yeah. So let's go back into this. I like their idea. I'm confused about it though, right? Each time a customer uses the ATM, the customer will get 1% cash back in the form of an up token. All right. Kind of sounds Ponzi-ish, just that but I mean a lot of credit a lot of credit cards do that right in the form of, of an up token so that's kind of cool benefits from token holders 30% discount customers will receive 30% discount on the ATM transaction fees if they opt to spend their up tokens to cover their transaction fee all right so nothing weird about that Binance does the same thing except it's they cut transaction fees in half if you use the Binance token. So people using up token, totally relatable. Binance does the same thing. 
Um, voting protocol. I might do a review on this coin. I might do an uptoken explain. Uh, voting protocol. Choose uh, the next cur current cryptocurrency. Over time, coin me will add new cryptocurrencies to the ATM network. All right, so this is basically <laughs> it's basically Binance. That's essentially what it is. Um, Binance does the exact same thing, where you know you use the Binance token, you save an extra percent of money, um, and then the community votes on new coins that get added every single month. Um, Binance does the, both of these. Binance does not do the one percent cash back in Binance Coin. That's kind of a cool a cool feature. Um, I I'm interested because. How could you do this ATM? Would you have to have a card? Would you, sorry, the launching Gemini exchange. Yeah, we'll do it. I'll look that up right after this. So um, how would you do this? So because you can't just like, you see, you guys see what, like, I, I know I'm really struggling with words right here, but you can't, you can't put fiat into a, into a machine and get cryptocurrency out because cryptocurrency is digital. You have to have it on a wallet, you have to have it in, on, on an exchange. And do you really wanna, how, how, do you, how do you store it, right? Without some sort of card or a Ledger Nano S that you like plug in. Because you can't just be like, all right, the screen comes up, I'm gonna log into Binance or I'm gonna log into my, I'm gonna pull up my wallet or something like that, right? Um, the only way I see this working is, is if you have some sort of like Ledger Nano S or they come out with a card of some sort, you'll buy coins by, okay, so it is a card. Perfect. Thank you for letting me know that, by the way, Silver Star Pro. Um, they've already launched their ATM machines in the US. Yeah, I've heard about them. I think they will blast soon. No need of, for a while. Yeah, dude. Okay, see, that's good. That's good. I'm hoping that you would say that because that is very, very good. Um... So with this card, can you go, this is what I think they need to do with this card, right? So you go in, you put in your fiat currency, your US dollar or, or Euro or whatever, um, you, you know, you're putting your card so it knows who you are. Um, and then you put in the money and you say, I want this in Bitcoin right now. There's a problem with this because, you know, there's like little Bitcoin stores and you can go and transfer fiat in, in real time to some sort of other cryptocurrency. Although the rates and the whole process is kind of annoying. The rates are gay and everything like that and so if there's machines that, that that could do this faster cheaper better um you know with a card everyone loves cards right everyone loves loves cards over cash so um i think that's really good coin flip is doing it with the atm and trx i think uh coin flip connects the one to the one's wallet though coin flip i've heard of them Oh, sorry, my back's starting to hurt. What time is it? 11.52? Alright. I'm just making sure I don't have anything to do tonight. <laughs> um. Alright, what else do we have here? Um. Yeah, so if, if you could store this with a card, what I'm hoping is that what they'll be able... Yeah, that's true. All these shades can take multiple days. That would be really cool. It'd be really cool, dude. If there was one in my hometown, I'd use it. So what I'm hoping that you can do is you can go online and log into your card or whatever and um, be able to transfer your money out from the card. So you can, like, you know, you go in, you put your money in, you have it on your card, right? And you can go online. You can be like, all right, I want to send my, uh, my whatever I just bought into Binance right away so I can purchase something else or whatever, you know, something like that. That'd be cool. Number two is that they need to have really good, um, I'd refer you to their video. That's all I know about their project. Uh, I found my, I found their machines on Google Maps. Dude, that's awesome. Yeah, dude. Um, I'll definitely look into this more because it sounds really cool. Um, Forbes, Business Insider, Greek Geek Warren. Cool, cool, cool. 40 crypto ATMs. So they don't have too many right now, but Yeah, man. Um, this is awesome for sure. Um, I definitely want to look into this more, and I think this is something that we need. So, yeah, and, and number two is that they need to have really good security to, to pull off something like this, right? Because if someone can go into the ATM and, like, you know, see your card or, or your transaction or your personal information and hack it or whatever, that could be dangerous. 
Um, we know that you know credit cards and debit cards and all that get hacked all the time, um, or, or even stolen for that matter. So there needs to be a, a really good security team with something like this. So we'll see what happens with it in the test of time. I think it's very good, very awesome. So you know I'm glad you showed me this actually. Uh, or perhaps they give you a voucher to withdraw transactions on blockchain uh, to your wallet when you get to the computer. Yeah, dude, that'd be really cool as well. Silver Star, you with up token. No app yet for NCash, but one pay uh, for XRP I downloaded yesterday. For XRP. But one pay for XRP, I'd buy it on my All right, cool. Yeah, um, I'm interested because in cash in their video, they show, maybe it's just for Android, but they show themselves with the app on their phone, right? And, and we can watch the in cash video. I put it on my Discord, or I put it in, maybe I put it in Hype on Crypto, but we've gone through the in cash video a couple times on live stream. Um, no. Need to make a vid and compare those uh, coin flip and the upcoin ATM. That would be a really good video. I like that. Thank you, Kahol. I'll probably do that. I need to start writing down all these ideas. I'm sharing uh, something, dude. <laughs> and yes, I have bought a bunch of their tokens. Hey, nothing wrong with that, dude. Nothing wrong with talking about and asking about a, a, a coin that you are a part of. Um, now, if it was me coming on here and be like, "All oh, you guys need to buy this right now," then you know, like that'd be really gay. But um, cool, cool, something I'll look into. Yeah, um, something I'm gonna, I, I want to look into this more as well. So I'm actually gonna leave that tab open. Whew. For the most part, guys, here it is almost midnight where I live on the East Coast. Um, I want to go ahead and bring this live stream to more of an end. If you guys have any questions, I would love to be able to chat with. Uh, chat with you guys in the chat right now answer any other questions that you guys have but for the most part um, We're gonna go ahead and end the you know the actual part of this live stream uh, Where we're going in depth and researching and you know kind of like doing the main cause of this So I'm here to chat with you guys if you have if you guys have any questions for the next 10 minutes or so um, I'll absolutely stick around and answer anything that you guys have to say uh, and talk to you guys about it uh, Whether it's crypto related or not um Thank, I just want to you know, thank you guys all for coming here. Uh, it means a whole, a whole lot more than you guys think. I love being able to build this community, uh, educate people on cryptocurrencies so that you guys can learn more. Um, and yeah, if you guys haven't already, hit the like and subscribe button. If you guys aren't already or, or haven't already, um, because it helps out the channel a whole lot more than you guys think. And yeah, maybe even share the live stream. I, know I have some people share live streams, so that's awesome. Um, so yeah. I love NCash, HTML coin as well. I was just looking into that one the other day. Every single day, I, I <laughs> people, you know, I, I say this in almost every single live stream and video. I always say every single day I go on to Google and I type in the word cryptocurrency and hit the news tab and I scroll a couple pages through the news as well as look at almost a new coin every single day. Um, I like to keep myself extremely in informed on the fundamentals of what's happening in the crypto sphere And I also watch tons of YouTube videos on, on all that crap. So I Try to help I you know, it's kind of like a pain at times But I love being able to stay so informed with something that's going to be such a big part of the future plus I have like business emails and crap, so um Ooh, <laughs> It's been a great live stream. Um, thanks. Uh, thanks so much, bro. I'll get in your Discord soon. Yeah, dude, links in the description. If it doesn't work, just send me a message or uh, a comment or something, and I'll be sure to hit you up with the personal link. Uh, same here. Thank you so much, Silver Star or uh, K-Hole and E. Steffens. Uh, means a lot. Uh, RFR Coin is another one. You can play and make money. Sounds good. I haven't heard of that one yet. I'll probably check that one out in the next live stream just because we're wrapping this one up. Um... Yeah, yeah. Thank you for the support, K-Hole, uh, Silver Star, E. Steffens, Robert, Richard, all of you guys. Thank you guys so much for the support. Um, uh, thanks for your time and video. Absolutely. Thanks for it. Later, bro. Yeah. Have a great night, guys. Or, or morning, evening, wherever you guys are from. Um, great show. Have a great night. Thank you so much, Robert. <laughs> It'll. Uh, it's been fun, guys. But I have a date with my pillow. Till next time. Hey, yo, Richard. You have a great night's sleep.
it's a part-time job yeah and so that's it, it really is is cryptocurrency is already so time consuming um cryptocurrency is already so time consuming but doing running you know the crypto youtube channel the discord business emails the twitter um <laughs> the whole you know combining both of the you know the crypto crispy aspect and the whole youtubing aspect um plus just having like a real life takes up a lot of time so it, it really is like a part-time job which is why i'm really excited really eager for youtube to pay me so i have i don't want to say like more of a motivation but it's a whole lot nicer when you're spending like hours a day on something and getting paid for it rather than when um especially in like a bear market so, because you guys would be surprised, you get, I personally, and I know a lot of other crypto tubers do as well, because I've talked to the people from Hyped on Crypto, I get a load of hate speech. People come on and they just rip me apart in the comment sections or in private messages, and it's just, you guys wouldn't believe it. I never thought that would happen, and especially on the crypto world. It's like, you know, we're all supposed to band together for cryptocurrency, but no, dude. You have people that come in, and you said something bad, even something that you say something factual. Like, I, I again, I like to keep it real. I talk bad about, you know, if there's something bad that's happening with the cryptocurrency that I own, I talk about it. Why? Because I want to inform you guys. I'm not trying to hide the bad stuff and tell you guys the good stuff. I'm trying to tell you guys everything. So I remember <laughs> just like a video or two ago, I was talking about something bad with um, one of the cryptos and it was like facts like it's literally stated on their website and it's like in the news like it's common knowledge and someone came up and they're like stop stop you know they're like call me all sorts of explicits and they're like stop spreading FUD uh, you're horrible for the cryptocurrency YouTuber or for the community and I was like bro you realize this is like it's not FUD FUD means fear uncertainty doubt like this is like strict fact and like I have a link and so they were like I don't want the link I don't care it's FUD and I was like alright whatever so band <laughs> um feel you bro after work it's all i do yeah man that's the main that's the thing is like you know it's great when you're getting paid out in these bear in the bull markets and you can make like some money in bear markets like i made some on a cardano two cardano trades i think and uh what else uh, i made some off trx and a couple of these other coins but yeah anyway if there's no other comments, guys, I want to thank you guys so much for tuning into the live stream. Um, it has been a crazy day. Crazy day. I'm going to go ahead and pull up Bitcoin before we leave here. Thank you to, so much to everyone who has liked and subscribed and commented and been a part of tonight. It has been awesome. Um, lots of more cool content and collaborations to come out. By the way, if you guys have any YouTubers that you guys want me to collaborate with, by all means, I'm, I'm looking for other crypto tubers to grow and be a part of here. I'm trying to find other people that I can make some videos with. Bitcoin right now, current price. Let's look at this. Current price of Bitcoin. <laughs> Not too much has changed. It's just kind of flatlining again. Whew. I live from Malaysia, Ohio. Awesome. Count on me, bro. Yeah, absolutely. Anyway. I'm going to go ahead and cut this off, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Do not forget to like and subscribe. Until then, I will see you guys in the next video, which will be tomorrow. Anyway, later, boys. I'm going to go ahead and exit this out. Uh, I'll try to get some of this. Oh, uh, Dimitri Jones, thank you so much for the subscription, dude. It means a lot. Thank you so much for subscribing. Oh, wow, that's really rough on the camera. Um, thank you so much for subscribing, my man. It means a lot. Welcome to the channel. Uh, and if there's anything I can do to help you out, Dimitri, by all means, comment in the Discord or email me or uh, comment. Um, and I will be sure to do my best to answer you as fastly and as uh, accurately as I possibly can. Wow, that's 18 minutes ago. I'm horrible. Um, <laughs> anyway, I'm going to go ahead and sign this off. Thank you guys so much for watching one more time, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.